friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Minecraft. What we're going to have today is an extraordinary survival, and that is that we have 100 days of survival, and we have to develop well in the ordinary world of Minecraft. And we have babies because we are all pregnant. We don't have much time, so we'll have to do our best. Hi, everyone. I'm so glad we're all here to play Minecraft together because this is my favorite game. I like to survive here, and today we have a hard task ahead of us because you and I have only one life that we must not lose. You need less to go to the cave to avoid mobs and immediately need to build a shelter from all mobs. Hello. Hello, audience. We need to build a not-so-well-protected shelter. We need to build a house where we're comfortable and no one can come in. The main thing is to protect yourself at night. And during the day, there is almost no one and there is nothing to be afraid of. Man, it's going to be hard to be pregnant because we can't exercise too much. Hello, everyone. Everyone, it's okay. I think that our pregnancy is not going to prevent us from surviving in any way. And we are going to be able to build all the buildings we need and have babies. For children, we also need to make a place where they will play so that they were not bored. The most important thing is that they are not born somewhere in the process of building the most important buildings because there will not be ready conditions for children. The first thing we're going to do is, of course, get some wood in the woods because this is the most important thing we need. Without it, we cannot cope at all. From wood, we make our main house, as well as make the initial tools for further survival. Most crafts are made from wood, and it is needed for fuel in the oven. Without it, we will not go anywhere. Okay, well, I'm going to run now to get the seeds for our future garden, because we're going to need it to survive, or we're going to be completely starved in this world. Because if we don't have food, we're just gonna starve and never come back because we're playing Minecraft hardcore. We will also need wheat so that we can tame the animals for which we will henceforth make a corral. I want to dig up a lot of sand for us because it's important to our survival. It'll melt glass into a furnace, but we can make all the vital resources out of glass. First, bottles are made of glass in which you can store water and not run constantly to the lake. We will also make windows from glass in our house and this is very necessary. I'm about to dig our first mine to mine our first rock. A lot of things are being done out of the stone, but we have to do the most important thing is to make our work much faster and more efficient. We'll also make stoves out of the rock in our house because we need somewhere to fry food and melt something. Now I'm going to build our first home where we're probably going to live for the rest of our lives. First, we will make the foundation of our house, namely beams from the borders of this house, as well as it will be necessary to connect them, and the top base of our house will be ready. Then, Pinkie Pie will help me with the bottom part, and we can move on to further construction. I like to build everything together because it always happens faster and faster. While Fluttershy does one part of the house, I already start doing the next. This is so cool! Now, even Fluttershy wanted to make the ceiling, but I think I'm gonna start doing it faster than her so she doesn't strain and does something else better, and I'll do the ceiling. Well, we've already made the base of our cabin, and now we're almost done with our cabin. My job will be to clear the ground from the floor of our house. Wooden floor should be necessary because it gives the first warmth, and secondly, it is much more pleasant to walk on the ground. The wooden floor also fits very well in our house because if we have this land, then our house will look like some kind of an annex. You are great people that have already done so much. I am proud of all of us because we have already been able to make the whole basis of the house. Now, I'll finish the ceiling and we can finally move on to the interior of our house. I'm so glad we almost made us a sanctuary where we can do whatever we want and we can finally sleep there. Now I will already make window frames in our house so that we always have sunlight and not very dark. To do this, we need to make not very large, but not very small windows so that from all sides we can get sunlight, but also that we have a free wall where we can place something or hang something. So I will now be completing the construction of our house. We will need to do only the interior and everything will be ready and we can move in. First, we need beds and then we need to put some chests where we will store all our things that we just get. Also, we 
do not have enough one workbench and stove. So we made several stoves and workbenches. So we are now going to make a vegetable garden together with Twilight Sparkle. We will have a very large garden because we will need enough wheat to make a lot of bread. Likewise, we will always need wheat to feed the animals we will soon have. I like to make a vegetable garden, so we are now going to finish this with ease and we can soon move on to our next goal. Yeah, it's pretty cool when you build your own garden and watch your crops. It's just an unimaginable hobby because it is very much distracting and vice versa. You already become addicted to your garden because you always want it to be bigger and bigger. I think we won't make too much of a vegetable garden because then there will be more difficulties with it. Better now, we with Rainbow Dash will make not too big and we have enough. Now we have to go for more resources because all our past is already over and we have not endless ones and we need to get them again. That's why I'm going to get wood again because I love chopping wood so much. All this wood we will spend on the construction of many chests as well as tools because very soon we will be building our underground warehouse. Okay, well I wanna try my hand at being a miner and I went into some cave where I found a lot of iron. This will be our first iron that we will definitely spend on buckets and of course on the iron tools that we will need to mine diamonds as well as accelerate our survival. There's also a lot of coal that we're going to use to craft torches. And I'm going to be digging for sand again because we're going to need it to make windows in the next room that we want to make. There will be some things that we will not tell you now. First, because we ourselves have not yet fully understood what will be there and also that you yourself try to understand what is there and when we will build you and we'll know. What I want to do now is to pick up more seeds for our garden so that we will have enough seeds because we will probably extend our garden and need several times more seeds. But I'm saving it for now so we don't have to run around and collect it when we need it. Also, I found some beautiful flowers and I want to collect them to plant next to our house. Now we're going to start building our basement, where we're going to store all kinds of things that we're going to get. Because in 100 days we can get so many resources, they can't fit in our four chests on top. Also, we will so protect our things from some weather phenomena or malicious mobs, because they cannot climb here. We should have a not too small, but not too big basement either. So now we will be with Rainbow Dash about to extinguish the distance that we want to completely dig up. And in principle, everything will be ready. We'll have exactly three blocks high so we can have more chests, but we'll probably change and expand our big warehouse later. In length and width, it too should be small. So we try to connect and dig to the end. Now we are going to accumulate so many rocks, of course, and you cannot even go to the mine because here we will have our own place where you can quickly extract rocks or even other ores because we have already found iron here and there is even coal. Now we've dug up the whole room. Now all that's left is the ceiling. I'll take care of the ceiling right now because I don't have the most broken pickaxe yet and I can dig up that ceiling. We have so much ore here, we must not forget to dig it up because it will not be extra in our survival. We can make more tools out of it or we can even make armor. Well, I'm getting very far. All we have to do is put the trunks here. Now, I'm going to put all the chests in our spacious basement and we can get out of here now because these chests are going to be enough for a while. Already there are a lot of chests and it is very cool. It means we won't have to extend the warehouse any further and that should be enough for us to think that for a few years, if not more. And now we've decided to decorate our house so it doesn't look like a normal box. We're going to do a lot of things here, but personally, I'm going to be decorating our windows. Each window will have a windowsill that will accumulate all the dirt from the window and it will not get to us. As well as for decoration, I will make manholes around the windows to make it look beautiful. And I want to help Pinky with her decorations. So now I'm going to decorate the windows with wooden steps to make it look like a big window frame that makes you look at this window. Not just look at it, and then without it, they look somehow empty and very boring. It is good that we decided to decorate our house. It is very good for the mood. 
Now I'm going to do the roof of our house, because this is a very important job in our decoration. It not only looks beautiful, but also very good saves from various weather phenomena. Because when it rains and we have a straight roof, all the water goes through the wood and goes straight to our room. And thanks to this roof, all the water will roll down and will not get into our house. And I will make the final decoration in our house, and it will be of course leaves around our house. It first looks very beautiful, and secondly, it helps our health to breathe oxygen from these leaves. Although we do live in the forest, but the leaves near the house will not be an unnecessary decoration in our house. So we finished making decoration in our house. Okay, now we're all gonna go out and look for animals in our forest because animals are first our friends. And secondly, they're gonna give us some resources that we're gonna need. I want now to find pigs that we can ride in the future or collect steaks and fry them. We won't practice it, of course, but as pets, they will be very cute. And I'm going to run, probably, to look for sheep, which we will need very much. Compared to the pigs, we will need them for us to cut off the wool that will be used to make paintings, carpets in the house, and extra beds that we will have to make for our children. So I found the sheep, how many there are. All right, I'm gonna go find some chickens, cause we're gonna need some of that too. They lay eggs and they will be very easy to feed because they feed on wheat seedlings, which we have a lot. From the eggs that will take our chickens, we can make a whole cake that can be baked at the end of our survival, which lasts 100 days. And I am now running after the main animals that will be at our house. These are of course cows that will give us a lot of resources. Firstly, they give us a lot of milk, and it is very important for our survival because it tastes better than ordinary water. And secondly, they give us leather from which we will make paintings, maps, books, and clothes to be warm in the cold season. Right now, our job is to get them home, so hopefully my friends took wheat or carrots, depending on who they're running to. Personally, I've taken the wheat seeds, and I'm taking my chickens to our house, where they'll live for the first time until we build a paddock for them. They're so cute, and they run so fast. I'm really glad I could find them, because they are the most defenseless and cute animals in Minecraft. And my job will be to bring the big sheep to our house. It's going to be hard because they're very playful and won't want to follow me, even if I have wheat. But I'll still try to get them home because I have no choice. I mean, I don't have to push them home and we don't have a leash yet. And we probably won't have one because it's really hard to get one. I'm about to have a fairly simple or challenging task. All I have to do is bring the pigs, and they love carrots very much, and they're willing to follow it for miles just to get it. These are very faithful pigs, and I think they will stay with us forever, and we will ride them as well as care and multiply. All I have to do is get my cows to our house, because they don't want to listen to me. They'll just see the wheat, follow me, and immediately be distracted by the grass that grows on the ground. You can't even push them through because they're very heavy. And I can't miss heavy things. If we had a leash to bring them on, that would be different. We've all come and started building our enclosure. It has to be big enough because we have a lot of animals. The most important thing is that they all live there together and do not fight strongly among themselves. Because if you put in the same pen and cows and sheep and chickens and pigs, it will be very bad. But I think it's going to be all right. So they're going to live together. I also want to add a lot of haystacks in our paddock so our sheep and cows can eat without stopping because they need more food than pigs and chickens. We will feed them every day. And sheep and cows can always eat out of the hay. And that is their only advantage. If we make haystacks, the animals can get out with them and we need to make the paddock higher. And the final part is, I'm just going to walk all the animals into the corral and we're going to have a paddock full of animals that we can only watch and live with. And remember, I hope that we do not really forget about them and will be very well cared for. They're not obedient. They don't want to go to the pen at all but they'll be better off here than in the wild. So we have achieved our next goal 
which we have set for ourselves in our survival. Now we have several times more because we have new friends in the form of cows, sheep, chickens, and pigs. This is really cool, and I would love to take care of them every day as much as I take care of myself every day. The most important thing will not forget about them and feed every day. But now I suggest we all fish together because bread and meat is good, but fried fish would also be good in our diet. Also, on fishing, we can catch something else that can help us in this survival. But this is a separate question, because basically, we will need to catch a lot of fish and immediately fry it. Fishing is a very cool thing, because here, you relax very well and think almost nothing. This is my favorite activity, and I constantly go fishing when I have time. Sit, do nothing, and keep silent, and you have fish. The most important thing in fishing is silence. So I will ask you all friends to behave much quieter and almost not to get into the water. When I was at the water, I thought we'd have to make an endless water source at our house. This will make it easier for us and our animals to drink and we will always have water for different needs right outside our house. But we'll do that a little later. I'll let you catch your fish because you have to be very quiet to keep the fish. An infinite water source is a really necessary thing that we really need. So now we break from fishing and start building it. It does not need many resources. The most important thing is to make two buckets and fill them with water. If you place the water in the hole of four blocks on four blocks, you get a really endless water source and it's very cool that such a bug exists. And I want to decorate our endless water source so that we do not fall into it when we do not notice. But on the contrary, we have a mood raised by the beauty that we will see. Although it is just a source of water, but the decoration should be, because we first have a lot of resources for construction. And secondly, we have a decorated house and therefore it should be decorated completely everything. We are now proceeding with the construction of that extra room, which we talked about very recently. We still don't know what we're gonna do here, but I think we can decide. Still, it's a whole second room in our house, and we shouldn't have any trouble figuring out what's in it. Now, I'm making the fences in this room to see how far we can build it. I'm about to make the basis of this room, which is to lift beams and connect them to our house to make a whole building. Everything will be made of stone, so that our house was strong and withstand any tornado and other weather phenomena. Also later, I will make us a roof here and it will also be of a rock. This roof won't have to be done like in our room because there's no water coming through the rock. And now I will make windows and window frames in the walls that Twilight Sparkle is building. We must have windows everywhere so that there is light in our house. And then in the dark to live this kind of life. And you need to charge vitamins from the sun as well as to charge a good mood from the morning to the evening. Here at last, I will work. Now we will make a beautiful floor out of a rock because here we will have very important things from our survival. But before you know it, I have to break down the ground in order to build a floor. And then later on, we're going to build an interior in this room. So you have a long way to go before you know what's going to happen in this room. Right now, I'm going to be completing this room and very soon, we're going to be building an interior. All we have to do is put a brick all over the floor and be comfortable in this room because we were in some scary box with the earth like we were in some kind of patch. Now we will have a beautiful room of stone in which we will make a smithy and enchantment. Yes, you didn't hear me. In this room, we will have anvils to improve and repair our instruments, as well as the enchanted table so that we can improve our instruments or armor with magic. Of course, we have done this for the future, but better now than later, and we have a lot of free time. By the way, we will also have a potion park here, so we will soon have potions. And now we are going on a trip again for additional resources, which we again ran out. I think that we can soon make a light farm tree where we can at any time get a tree so as not to run far. Well, we're close to the woods and it's not far to run, but I'd rather make a farm than chase every tree through the woods. And I am already in a deep mine and look what I could find here. 
There is Lazuli, and next to them are the diamonds. I am so glad. This is the second diamond I've seen in a cave. I am very glad because diamonds are the most valuable resource in the game and they need to be kept very well so as not to lose. I'll probably put them in our warehouse so no one will get them and find them. Well, I'm going after the sand again because we're planning on building a new room that needs glass. This is going to be our kids' room and it's going to have to have windows so they can watch what's happening outside and they're going to have more sunlight which they really need to supplement their vitamins. And I want to go and see what kind of vegetation there is still in our forest. I found some bushes, and I want to break them now and see what they are. Oh my god! There is so much different food, and it can be planted in our garden or make a big dish that you can think of yourself. It is very cruito, because we constantly eat bread with meat or fish, snacking carrots. Want some variety, for example, salad. Friends, we have already done all the basic structures that we need in this survival. It's really cool that we got this done so fast, and now we're totally ready to have our babies. I think that very soon they will appear and will be happy to be born already in ready conditions, rather than survive with us. It will be very comfortable for them and us, because they will not interfere with us, and we them. Friends, we have done so much to you, and now we are ready for anything! We now have our own garden as well as our own smithy in which we will do whatever we wish. There we have a very cool vegetable garden which now grows a lot of plants thanks to which we now definitely will not die of hunger and we will always have food. I suggest we go now and build a room for our children because they need somewhere to live besides our room. After all, we will already be eight people, and one room for all is very small, so they need their own room where they will sleep, play, and do all their important things that they need for a good development in the future life. In their room, I think we'll make enough toys to keep them entertained. It will also be necessary to make a workbench and a furnace to heat them at any time of the year, especially in the cold as well as a workbench so that they can already make something for themselves from improvised resources or from those that we will give them. Let's start building this room. Let's start building the room by marking this very room. That's what I'll do now. Since we don't have a lot of space, where we're supposed to have a room, so we're going to be building a compact room now, but we're going to need everything our kids need. The most important thing is that there was plenty of space to play, and of course, sleep. Since Fluttershy is doing the very foundation of our house, I'm gonna be helping her with this now. I will make the bottom of our walls in the house, as well as dig up all the ground and put a beautiful wooden floor in its place. This is a very cool idea, because Fluttershy and I are going to do this very quickly and get to the interior of this room. I'm glad we're so close and nimble, even though we're pregnant. Okay, well, I'm going to do the initial interior of this room, which is to make the window frames and insert the windows into them. They won't be as big windows as our room, but most importantly, they will be. This is done specifically so that more space is occupied by toys or developments, and the windows are just a source of light that does not need to be very much. Well, I'm going to do the interior of the house. They will have big four beds for each child, so that they will always be together, and they are not afraid to sleep separately or in crowded. Also, we will put only one furnace and one workbench so that they do not take up much space in this room. We also made some dolls for them to play at first. So we have completed all that we planned in this survival, and with a calm soul we can finish this day, only with a calm soul. Very soon we will have children, and we worked very hard to ensure that they have a comfortable life, and also that they were not bored in this ordinary world of Minecraft. I'm really glad we got a lot of things going on, and we're not gonna stand in the same place. So we have completed all that we planned in this survival. And with a calm soul, we can finish this day only with a calm soul. Very soon we will have children, and we worked very hard to ensure that they have a comfortable life, and also that they were not bored in this ordinary world of Minecraft. I'm really glad we got a lot of things going on, 
and we're not going to stand in the same place. Let's just go to sleep and not worry about tomorrow. The most important thing is that we have done all that we wanted to do, and the rest of it we will solve. I really want to sleep and I want to see my kids. So let's just lie down right now and very soon wake up and see our wonderful children. Good night to everyone. A few moments later. Oh my God! What wonderful children we had. They are so cute and very similar to us. Want to play with them very much and look at them more. They are so much like each of us. I think they're going to be as good friends as we are and maybe become real ponies who help everyone and save everyone, just like us. Personally, I think they should be as close as we are. We have done so many things in all these days that no one and no construction crew would ever do. We're doing great, and I'm proud of all of you. So our kids have to be like that, and we have to raise them well so that they understand what it's like to work together They'll have to release their young energy somewhere. Let's show our kids the rooms in our house and, of course, show them the room they'll be living in for the next few years until we move out of this house. I think that they should really like it because there is a lot of space for different active games as well as large beds on which you can jump. Oh my God, how active they are despite the fact that they were just born. They are ready to play and play again because they have enough energy for just a few days. I wish we had the energy to never sleep and just build and build. We would have done a lot more in those 100 days than we do now. But nothing. We are still great. That's what I thought. In the future, we will need to make this room more and more because they will grow and they will lack this room for permanent residence. I think pretty soon they'll be crowding in here and running off to play with us. So, whatever happens, I suggest we soon start expanding this room so we don't have to do it. Let's run and build a playground for our children. And then to build additional space in this room is too expensive and very long, and they are already full of energy. Let's hurry up and build, because they can run away from our house at this rate and we can't catch them. And on the court, they will have a lot of fun and they will not be able to escape because it will be a very exciting playground. Okay, let's start building a playground for our kids. It will be a quick and exciting activity because they craft very easily and set even easier than you might think. Our children will have at their disposal many different things. These will mainly be toys that they can play with as well as a basketball ring with a ball so that they immediately from childhood to play sports. Also, they will have a swing so they can relax, and of course the basis of the platform will be a slide with which they will spend all their energy. Now our children will be able to play in this playground. They like it so much, and I'd like to jump on this court with them now, because I haven't been to one of these in a long time. But I feel like I've grown out of these toys, and I need to do other things that are more important than playing on the playground. We used to play in the playground, and now our kids are playing here. While the kids are playing in the playground, I think we should run to the garden and pick up our crops and feed our children with our bread. Meat and fish are not ready yet, so I want to offer them bread. Now I will collect all the wheat from our garden. I didn't think we had so much wheat in the garden. Most importantly, after we've harvested all the crops from our garden, we need to plant the seeds back in the garden so that the next time someone comes, they can harvest all the wheat. And I'm going to go and check on our animals. I have to feed them, but before I do, I'm going to collect everything they can give us. With cows, I will collect a lot of buckets of milk so that we have enough for all. With sheep, I will now collect more wool to make beautiful carpets or even paintings. But now, I will only multiply pigs and chickens to have more. And chickens generally give us eggs that we soon need. And I'm going to go and check on our animals. I have to feed them. But before I do, I'm going to collect everything they can give us. With cows, I will collect a lot of buckets of milk so that we have enough for all. With sheep, I will now collect more wool to make beautiful carpets or even paintings. But now I will only multiply pigs and chickens to have more. And chickens generally give us eggs that we soon need. If we can make it through these 100 days, we can end this long series. 
I really enjoyed surviving hardcore, and I'm glad no one got hurt in the 100 days we spent together. Subscribers, if you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. Also, write your opinion in comments. With you were my little pony. See you soon.